Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 11 for learning management system in Django with React.js. Uh, currently from 2 to 3 videos, we are working on uh, React and uh, we are working on our uh, templates. So in this video, what I am going to do, I am going to finalize the home page template. And uh, we have uh, created a home page a template in our previous video and we have implemented sub -section, some sections like a latest course popular courses uh, images are same i know but uh, in this video let's uh, let's uh, create another sections like uh, uh, teachers and uh, other things okay so let's start with the opening source components and we will open our home.js file okay so i am opening in the uh, vs code okay so <coughs> it is taking some uh, it will take few seconds okay so we have opened and this is saying something so i'll say trust and i'll remove this uh, tab okay so here we have a uh, uh, latest course popular courses okay now what i will do uh, we have uh, two rows like this is our uh, first row and then we have a uh, second row okay so I will define some margin between the rows. I will say margin bottom four. Okay. So I I always told you that uh, please uh, watch the Bootstrap uh, uh, official documentation. See the official documentation. You will understand all the things. Okay. So here we have. I'm just structuring the layout of our uh, uh, system or for our uh, LMS. Okay. I'm not here going to explain each and everything of bootstrap but i'm going to create template with bootstrap okay so so here we have created our latest course popular courses now let's say we have uh, another section we will say our let's say uh, these are our uh, popular teachers you can say popular teachers okay so here we have popular teachers so this will say popular teachers and uh, teacher name so this will teacher name okay and i'll see here okay image i'm going to keep its image is same okay so this is teacher name okay popular uh, why it is saying this is popular courses this is popular teachers or we can say uh, featured featured teachers we can see okay later we will convert this uh, into a slider okay here we will add a slider let's uh, let's go to get bootstrap.com uh, website and let's see the carousel i will go to documentation i will say Carousel, it is yeah. So carousel, okay. And let's explore that. If we have something, then we will uh, check this. So this is we need something else. Actually, we need a four section division carousel. Okay, but this is a plain, so we will not use this. But we will use some other. Okay. So this is our latest course here. We will fetch our latest course. And in our latest course, we will also define sections. Let's say uh, we have we have anchor, and this will be and this will be a uh, C C all C all. Okay. So here it is, and I will just add float end okay so it will show here okay and i will add i will add i will add here this will be popular courses so uh, this uh, these are the single pages okay you understand what i mean when we click on this the uh, we will show all courses according to the descending order when we click on this uh, see all then it will show the popular courses according to the rating and reviews okay yes we will also integrate rating and reviews yeah 
so these are featured teachers uh, when we click on the see all then we will show the teachers all teachers uh, that will be, uh, depend on their uh, popularity okay so we will show uh, teachers according to the popularity okay so the, the, this is our latest course this is our uh, popular course this is our featured course now let's uh, add let's add here mm, i will go to the example and here we have some uh, bootstrap templates i will open few of them and let's open few of them and i will just say we have this kind of thing and i will add i will add this footer to our template okay so i will copy this footer template uh, copy element and then i will open footer.js where it is i have, we didn't created the footer.js let's create this save footer.js okay and let's see so what uh, here what i'm trying to do i'm i'm trying to do the implement a simple thing uh, i'm going to uh, create a react component okay so this is shortcut if you have installed the uh, package but uh, i think i didn't install the package so that uh, so that it is not showing so what i will do i will just simple copy the header.js file uh, i will copy this file and paste it here okay and i'll say footer and i'll also say footer okay and we need to again copy this because we have copied something else paste here and uh, so what we need to do to working with this template we need to modify this class okay so this will be class name okay so this will be this thing okay so we have a uh, created our footer now let's go to include this footer in our main template okay so i will copy this paste here and import this footer and this is here and let's copy this header okay maybe we will uh, modify this thing modify this structure uh, in future okay so but now we are we are loading the header then home then footer okay so let's refresh the page here so here you can see that we have footer okay and let's go to footer and uh, we have let's say border top okay so we have border top and i will say margin top something because i don't know why i i want footer little uh little go down so this is ex uh we will uh, change this later okay so here it is okay when we click on this it will go to top and this is the this is our footer and here we have a latest course popular course uh, featured te uh, featured teachers okay and uh, we will also implement the testimonial okay so let's go to uh, docs okay and i will use block code for testimonial okay uh, block code here we have uh, where it is block quotes so here we have okay so this is and i will use this this kind of thing okay center alignment and let's go to home page and what i will do i will just simply copy this thing okay and paste it here okay and i will say i'll say student testimonial student testimonial testimonial okay and let's say student testimonial so we will show some of the testimonials here in a slider okay so i uh, i'll just put the uh, i will remove all the things i will remove all the things here here we have okay and let's refresh the page here so we have student testimonial now uh, i will say simple i will copy this thing 
not I will copy this thing let's add slider here so what I will do first of all I will use Krausen so here we have so Krausen and I will use this kind of thing okay with this and with this so I will copy this thing okay and paste it here we also need image for this we will add image later mm, feature to the testimonials yes okay and we need this class to be changed copy this thing class yes okay so let's we have refresh the page here so what it is saying okay so in jsx uh, your every element should be closed okay so that it is saying element should close uh, so that it is showing the error okay so let's refresh the page here so here we have a so here you can see that this is working but uh, this is uh, uh, the image is not showing and we don't need this image actually we just need the block quotes okay so I will use this thing uh, here it is block quote find okay maybe uh, this is this is a little boring but uh, please keep patience okay we will do every uh, I actually I'm going to do everything from scratch so that I'm uh, I'm creating this so that you will understand that how things working how uh, how we will create everything from uh, scratch and uh, we will understand everything okay so I will copy this and paste it here so this is the uh, actually this is the items so I will be in the in the browser item I am pasting this uh, figure tag okay and I will just this thing copy this and paste it here okay and here also and the first one should be active or anyone should any one of the items should be active so that it will work okay so let's so here you can see that this is working okay so actually let's add here mm, let's add let's say bg light let's say bg dark now it is showing properly but uh, we have all, we also need to do text white okay so this is the thing and we will also add padding uh, let's say 5 okay so here you can see that the testimonial is working very nicely so we have three testimonials okay so this is uh, we here we will fetch the message and here will be we will fetch the student testimonial okay so these are the featured teachers uh, popular courses uh, why let's add popular teachers not featured teachers popular teachers okay here we will fetch the image of the teachers uh, teacher name then we will create the detail page and uh, latest course we have student testimonial we have okay so I think the home page is uh, pretty nice and uh, we will uh, we will do modifications in future and let's go to our detail pages and complete our functionality and we will design this we will de design this on our view okay so <clears throat> in this video we have uh, let's say we have completed our home page then in our next video we will uh, move to the uh, next page we will move to the I will just this is our home page uh, what I'm thinking uh, I should uh, start our teacher panel okay so that teacher can add the courses okay so that uh, when we, so that we have a data and we will fetch the data on front end okay so please add your comment section that what should we start we should we start the teacher panel should we start we should be uh, create the all layouts of the react template or uh, what should we do uh, in our next steps okay 
so please add your thoughts in the comment section okay so <clears throat> thank you so much for watching this video and uh, we will uh, create these kind of projects uh, in this uh, channel and uh, please like share subscribe this uh, video and uh, this channel and uh, please uh, join the membership if you can and um, support me via small donation like razor pay paypal and everything so please uh, watch other tutorials if you are beginner or if you are experienced so i am creating the project from scratch to end and soon i will upload the quiz uh, quiz project in that i have created in django and that will be i think 3 to 4 hour course complete project so i hope you will enjoy and uh, thank you so much for watching this video thank you